Hello. So in this video, we are going to discuss the interesting concept of local access versus global access. So to understand local access and global access, let's try to consider that this room which I'm sitting in is the work area or environment in which I'm working. So this room is oriented in a certain directions and I would use some reference over here. So for up and down, I will consider a Z axis. And maybe uh, I'm facing towards this side and there is a window in the back. This side I can consider as Y axis and the remaining like this direction I will consider as X axis. Now any kind of object or anything that I want to place here and that I can use from the reference of this X, Y, Z axis. And obviously just like here we have center of universe, I might consider one uh, the center of the room as my origin point for the room. Now all my objects can be placed around in my room environment with respect to this X, Y, Z axis, whatever is there. So we have seen that when we grab an object and move it, say along X axis, it moves like this or Y axis, it moves like this or Z axis, it moves like this. Now this is fine till the time you have rotated your object or something. For example, in this case, this monkey, which you see over here, if I rotate this monkey on, let us say, uh, Z axis, and it is now looking in some other direction, right? Now, when we talk about game development or animation or, or something like that, the movement of the objects or players or characters is based on the direction we are looking for. So, in this particular case, if you wanted the monkey to move forward, you would simply say grab on Y and you will move it forward. But as I said, if the monkey is looking here, what happens when you say grab on Y? Now it is moving, but this is this won't be considered as movement, a forward movement, right? So what happens is that every object that you have has its own axis also, X, Y, Z representation. That is called as the local axis of that particular object. Okay, so now every object, as I said, has its own axis. Fine. So what you can do is now instead of this, I will utilize another file for demonstration. Rotation. Let's not save this. Okay, so see here. Now, if you consider this object over here, fine the red green and blue the regular axes which are shown are the global axis and these ones which i have placed over here are for understanding we will consider this as the axis of the monkey now initially what happens is when you add an object it is oriented its local axes are oriented with respect to the axis of your global settings now let us say what will happen is this I have made as a single object. So if I rotate this on Z axis or let me select the object first. So if I rotate this object on Z axis, what you will notice is the colors which are moving around are the axes of or local axis of this monkey object. Fine. So now when I have rotated it, the axes have changed around. So now what happens is if you wanted to move this monkey, on y axis forward so if you grab on y you will notice that it moves in a wrong direction or i wouldn't say it is wrong but it is not the required one this could be a correct movement as per your requirement but let us say for the uh, consideration of moving it forward where it is facing you need to change the axis from here from global to local you might notice there are a lot of other things this we may discuss later on i will switch to local now when you grab your object on y axis you will notice that it is moving along with its y axis if you grab it on z axis it moves along z axis now interestingly in this rotation nothing much has happened if i rotate this on y axis here fine now the z axis and x axis of the object has changed so now if i grab it on Z, this is the local Z axis movement. And if we change here from local to global and grab it on Z now, this is the global movement. 
so what you need to do is you need to decide when you are moving your objects whether you want to move them on x y or z or even rotation scaling or movement all three things are to be done in local or global as per your requirement and understanding so basically like if the object is rotated somewhere and now this monkey had to look down and if i rotate it on x axis this is not the look down correct fine so i will need to rotate it on local x axis fine rotate on x now now this is the suitable requirement so this is what you need to remember fine so let us see if i have rotated this object on say let's say z axis like this and if i scale it on y then what happens is this is a different scaling that is happening this is not what we are expecting and if you scale it on local axis then it is going to be different now there is a shortcut mechanism to do that whenever you are doing rotation scale or uh, movement then use the r for rotate g for grab and s for scale after that as soon as you select the axis look here in this corner you will notice so if i say grab on x now it is on default global axis here this is the default setting so grab on x so it is on x now if you press x again the repeat the axis key the axis change it from global to local fine x x so it will do that so here now this is on global i press x again and now i am on local axis similarly i can do for scale on y axis and if you notice the scale is this now if i say scale on x again sorry scale on y and again on y now you will notice the scaling is happening in a different manner similarly rotation we have already seen so you need to keep in mind while rotating scaling or moving objects whether you want to move them on local axis or global axis there is no such thing that which one is right or which one is wrong as per your requirement you have to take the decision whether it should be moved on local axis or global axis so that is the concept of local and global axis in another video we are going to discuss another interesting aspect about pivot point that is useful for rotations also